What's up, y'all? Alright, today I got a good video for you. It's how to clean a carburetor the best way possible. How to get that thing super clean, and I'm talking super, super clean, without using any harsh chemicals, you know, any kind of abrasive anything. Just cheap, super clean, no dirt down in the little orifices and stuff, and nice and clean. So let's get started. Alright, so you can see in front of me, if you don't know what this is already, this is an ultrasonic cleaner. And you can pick these up real cheap from Harbor Freight. I think this one was like 60 bucks after the coupon or whatever. But um, these things clean stuff extremely well. They're primarily used for jewelry, but they vibrate, you know, little parts and stuff. is an ultrasonic, so it vibrates the part and vibrates the dirt out and off of the part. So they're great for cleaning carbs because they have all those tiny little holes down in there. And if y'all want to see where to get one, check the links in the description. I'll put one in there. And if y'all don't have a Harbor Freight near you, where you can look in the description and order you one if you like the way it performs. Because I sure do, because it works well to clean all this stuff. So, the old school way of doing it is a bucket of carb cleaner. I don't have any here because I don't use that nasty stuff. Carb cleaner spray. Um, once again, I don't use that nasty stuff. Because if you breathe those fumes enough, you know what it'll do to you. it would probably make you sick, and it's expensive. We don't need to use any of that stuff anymore. What we can use is water. All you do is put straight water in here. Now, I know a lot of guys can put, like, simple green or something like that in there, or maybe a little bit of soap, you know, whatever. But um, I like to use just straight water and then blast out whatever's left with compressed air. So in order to do this, you're going to have to take your carb completely apart. And this is a carb off of a pull-in chainsaw. Now, I'm going to give you a word of warning here. A lot of plastics are not compatible with ultrasonic cleaners. Because some of that stuff is ultrasonically welded, where they butt it up, and it's welded together. And it can damage plastic, and I'm sure it can damage rubber too. So you got to strip all that stuff off before you put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Now, I'm sure there's types of plastic that are resistant to that stuff, but it's a carburetor, and it's a metal body, so we're going to strip all that stuff off of there and throw the thing up in there. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this thing on 480, and it has a time limit. Oh, there you go. 480, you can set it here, 90. I like to set it on 480. You can turn the heat on or off. I would not recommend putting heat on this thing because it's a, a carb. You don't want it to warp. This thing can get pretty hot. Um, you just pull it up. You see, it's just got a screen here, right here. And you put your part on it, um, put your other part on it, rip this old crap off of here put this part on it and now I want to take a reference here look how look how dirty that is look how dirty that thing is come on alright that thing's gonna be pretty clean when we take it out so put it in make sure it doesn't touch any of the metal around it and just turn it on and it's gonna sound crazy but oh we uh we forgot the high speed jet and the low speed, I'm not even putting those in there, those aren't even dirty. Let's see if we can see anything. Sometimes you can see the stuff just melting off of it, but that is probably extremely annoying. Yeah, you don't see anything coming off of that one. But we're going to let that thing sit. And I'm going to check back in with y'all once this thing is done. And we're going to see how clean it is. Alright, let's see what we got. I'm going to go blow this thing off some air real quick. And then we're going to be right back and let's see how clean it got this thing. Oh, it got it pretty clean, I can tell you. 
Well, look, it's clean where it needs to be, right? It don't have to be pretty on the outside, just on the inside. All right, I'm going to blow this thing off real quick. Let's see what we got. All right, I got this thing blown off with some shop air. And you can see it's nice and clean. I mean, it wasn't particularly dirty to begin with. It would have been better to start it off with some, uh, you know, really gunked up dirty carb. But this thing is nice and clean now, so... It's time to put it back together. Yeah, but man, I think, I mean, it does a good job. I've seen it just, you know, when you turn it on, it just goes and it just has a cloud of crap in there. But that wasn't the case on this one. It really wasn't that dirty at all. But you can see how it cleaned the outside. Not that it matters, but if it does that to the outside, imagine what it's doing on the inside. So they're good little machines. So now it's time to put this thing back together. Alright, so if y'all want to see me putting this thing back together, don't forget to look in the description down below. I'll put a link in the description and somewhere in this video of me rebuilding the rest of this thing, putting it back together and stuff. So check that out. And don't forget to check the description for any parts I used in this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe while y'all are at it. Later!